Hello. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Pat Speth, author of the Nickel Quilt Books. I love scrappy quilts and I love to work with five inch squares in many of the quilts that I make. Today's block is the star block from my Star and Crown quilt and it starts with five inch squares of fabrics. This quilt contains two blocks, the blue star block and the red king's crown block. They work so nicely together, it's sometimes hard to see where one block stops and the other block starts. I went with a patriotic theme for this quilt, but of course it would look great in many different fabric combinations. Complete instructions for making this quilt in four sizes are included in the pattern. Ordering information will be at the end of this video. The four sizes are wall, lap, twin, and queen. Within each of the star blocks, I'm working with four different blue fabrics and four different background fabrics. To start with, five inch squares of the main fabric, the blue fabric, and a five inch square of the background fabric. On the background fabric, I have drawn, and this is on the back side of it, a diagonal line from point to point. After I have drawn my diagonal line, I go ahead and put the two fabrics right sides together and now it's time to sew seams on each side of this diagonal line. So that you're able to see the seams a little bit better, I went ahead and on this demo piece used just a plain white muslin for the background fabric. So scant quarter of an inch seams on each side of this diagonal line. After the seams have been sewn on each side of the diagonal line, you can go ahead and cut. After the unit has been cut on the diagonal line, it's time to press. And for the star block, I press one of the half square triangles to the light and the other one to the dark. Now it's time to trim them. I'm going to trim this to four and a half inches. The easiest way to do that is with a four and a half inch ruler and I have placed a piece of shelf liner on the ruler to help keep it in place. The diagonal line of the ruler is going to go on top of my diagonal seam line and the unit is going to extend past the ruler edges on all four edges. Going, trimming up, trimming over, getting a little bit harder press on those dog ears I just turn the mat, trim up, and trim over. And that gives us our four and a half inch half square triangle unit. Our trimmed half square triangle is now going to be subcut in half in one direction and in half the other direction. This is four and a half inches, so half of that is two and one fourth inches, two and a quarter inches. And I'm going to lay this, the ruler, right on the edge of the unit at the two and a quarter inch line and give this a cut nice and slow and then pick up the ruler, give the ruler a turn and lay it down on the unit again, two and a quarter inch line right on the edge of the unit and cut across. This then yields four pieces, two of which are the half square triangle units and a light square and a dark square to play with. And I refer to these units as small wonders. Within each of the star points that we are going to create, I use one half square triangle that's pressed to the light and the other half square triangle is pressed to the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and square up the other half square triangle now, so I have pieces from both of these to work with. That's squared up. And then it also is going to get subcut. Remember, two and a quarter inches. 
in each direction. So cut it to a quarter, turn the ruler, and two and a quarter inches in this direction. So now I have the units over here that have been pressed to the light. And this set of units, these little half square triangles, have been pressed to the dark. When I sew the quarter star points for each of the sections of the block, I lay them out, all out in this identical orientation. So taking one of the dark squares, placing it here, one of the pressed to the light half square triangles goes here. One that's pressed to the dark goes here. And background fabric goes there. And yes, every once in a while you will have one of those little triangles hanging on. Just get rid of it. There you go. This is now ready to be sewn together. I sew the units together in rows first. This is top row, bottom row. And this unit, eventually, the unfinished size is going to be four inches. If this is the first time you're making this unit, it might be a good idea to go ahead and place a ruler on that to make sure this is four inches across before you join that final seam. Go ahead then and sew that last seam to create one-fourth of the star block. Once I have several of these made and I've picked out four of the fabrics that I think work nicely together, I go ahead and assemble the star. Sewing this together like a big four patch, this row is sewn together and then this row is sewn together. Last seam is right here, creating our star block. Now the this block right now is going to measure seven and a half inches, and that's the unfinished size, it's going to finish at seven inches. So I, you know, I had fun making it out of the, the blues and the creams, working in one color family. This is also a good block for uh, mixing up the fabrics a little bit more. This is another look I like for the block, and that is choosing fabrics from different color families going with reds and greens. That's always a good combination. And then going even scrappier and choosing four different fabrics. Another thing I want to mention for this block is if you are used to pressing seams open, you can definitely do that with this block. In fact, on the this sample block that I made, I, I gave that a try just to see how I would like it. And I did like the reduction in bulk all the way around. That worked pretty good on this block. So you can give that a try if you like. Another wonderful block, and it was so fast and easy to make, starting with five inch squares of fabrics and turning those five inch squares of fabrics into half square triangles before doing sub cutting. Half square triangles are one of my very favorite units to make. Ordering information for the Star and Crown quilt pattern is coming up next. And until I post my next video, have fun making your quilts. The pattern for making the Star and Crown quilt in four different sizes, as well as my books and other patterns, can be ordered from my website. I've included a link to my website below in the video description area. Purchases from my website will help fund the creation and production of more nickel quilt videos for all to enjoy and learn from. Thank you.